Good evening, this is that one guy broadcasting from sunny St. Joseph. Uh, once again, we are in the English town of Covenhaven Shireham, which is about as much fun to say as Thunder Cougar Falconbird. Uh, in fact, I can rename things. So, who owns a car in the city? Alright, we're questing for a car. This, this looks wholesome. We are questing for a car. The game gets a little framey when you get in a little bit. Now, for those of you who've never played a city builder before, there's usually, especially with the SimCity-esque ones, uh, demand for various um, zones. Right now I've got a pretty low demand for residential, which is what you would expect, as uh, I've opened up a lot of residential and it's not being built on. And the reason is people don't necessarily want to move to the city right now because there's not necessarily a lot of jobs. So necessarily, necessary, 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 I can say that as many times as I want to. Uh, the demand for industry or offices, which is over here, I've got an industrial sector, um, is up because people want jobs. So as that goes down, this is going to go up as more jobs become available. And uh, this little guy over here is the milestone, and uh, that unlocks when I complete more houses. Now the nice thing is I don't need to make a new residential area because this is filling out right now. And this is a good enough commercial sector, I mean, for now. Uh, let's see, does anybody have a car? Because I would very, very much like to rename a car to a Thunder Cougar Falcon Bird, because I think that'd be really funny. But... How's the building doing? Shut up. I want to rename it. The nice thing about this game is you can rename literally anything. So if I want to give a shout out to Paprika, I can say, instead of Ready to Wear Ink, which is obviously a clothing manufacturer, let's call it Rains. R A Y. Rains. Uh. <laughs> Alright, we're in England. Fan. Fancy. Fan. I can spell. English is definitely my first language. Fancy paint, uh, pants. Limited. There we go. So now, uh, in the city of Covenhaven Shireham, there is Rain's Fancy Pants Limited. Like, you can rename anything. And as you see, we've got uh, trucks that'll come in and around and drop stuff off. And the more efficient uh, your city planning is, the quicker things get from point A to point B. Now, left-hand traffic doesn't really mean much in this instance, uh, simply because I don't really... I planned ahead, because the only difference is I want my inflow to my city to be a lot faster than my outflow from my city, because if push really came to shove, they can just go versus coming in. I don't want them to have to go in and then up and then find where they need. So these first few episodes are going to be a little bit slower build. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, one thing I could do, actually, is I could open up a little bit more space uh, by deleting that. I do still need that, though, but what that does for me is I can now go into zoning and open up a bit more commercial space, which uh, before was not available. Now, this is sort of what I don't want. I do not want people... Uh, crowding into this lane, uh, especially because I don't really have space for them. How are we doing? That is the... Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is that? That's not a house. That is a garden shed. What is this? Middle Ages? Elevated roads. You can build elevated roads using the page up key to raise the road level and page down to lower it. Cool. I can make a two-tier society. Pet robots, huge hit among children. Hashtag cats and dogs. That's kind of sad. Well, not really. I mean, you know, they wouldn't poop. Oh, okay, so we have a really high demand for, um... We have a really high demand for residential, so what we should be seeing is this filling out. And hopefully, I'm gambling a little bit. I'm going to... Do you not have water? Because that would be bad if you didn't have water. Um, I'm gambling a little bit that once this happens, I'm going to be able to expand my infrastructure a little bit. So it's a big gamble. We'll see if it pays off. I think I need like 500 people. So I'm going to speed up time a little bit. The speed up time button is down here next to the date. Um, come on. Move, 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 move. Uh, yeah, they still want... Oh. 
Oh, that's why. It's because... Okay, let's de-zone that area, because that... There we go. Because that is, um... The water lines don't reach out there yet. So, I should be getting my next milestone. There we go. So now I can get some loans. I can open up some healthcare, some garbage, and education. Now, garbage is the thing that people are going to care the most about right now. So I've got 12 grand. And how I'm going to spend it is I'm actually going to expand my infrastructure a little bit. I'm going to have these follow the streets. So then, I need to think about how I want my grid to be set up. Now, this is going to piss some people off. There we go. This is going to piss a couple of people off. Shh. It's okay. I know how to make curved roads. Okay. It's trying to connect to this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to pause. And because I've got enough money, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to destroy these electrical connections, which is going to... First off... There we go. Which is going to first off piss a lot of people off that their uh, sewage just got shut off for no good reason other than massive city overhaul. Oh my goodness. So if you'll see what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get as many workable spaces as I possibly can. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go from here and I'm going to actually come across here and do that. So now when I unpause Covenhavenshire uh, I'm not going to lose sewage. So here we go. And there is an incredibly high demand for residential. So I'm going to do that and give them what they want. Now, however, I just realized, same problem as before, there's not exactly a lot of uh, water. Now, with this setup, I can actually run water on every other street and have everything turn out okay. Now, eventually, I'm going to be able to get rid of some of these, uh, some of these telephone poles are these electrical poles. Now, one thing that people usually get pretty shirty about... Oh, man, I don't have any money. Uh, poop. Okay. I'm gonna do the one thing I hate doing. Taking a loan to pay for, um, basic services. So... Ooh, woof, that feels bad. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy some industrial... Ooh, mm, <laughs> that feels bad. Okay, I'm actually going to put the dump way out on the edge of the city. Oh, you're pissed about that. You have garbage collection services. Okay. So that actually negatively impacted my city, but what I can do is I can balance that out by putting in a clinic here, which will happy up these people and show me a radius of... Yeah, there we go. So they have health care. And then do I have enough for a school? No, I don't. Now, unfortunately, uh, that means I'm not going to be able to, um, I'm not going to make these people too much happier just yet, but Covenhavenshire is coming along just great. One second, please. <coughs> I hate allergy season because I have incredibly bad allergies. Um, yeah, so Covenhavenshire is coming along pretty good. Uh, one thing I would like to do, actually, before wrapping this episode up, is I'm going to show you upgrading roads. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I'm going to upgrade that road to that. And basically what that did is it'll it's going to allow more traffic to get through. Uh, so now, instead of just a one-way, or just one little street, it's bigger so that there's not going to be as much uh, congestion. So that should solve my traffic problems for the foreseeable future. Uh, this has been that one guy. Thanks for watching.